It's a brand new day here in Sydney, Australia. Currently, it's 9.34 of February 5th, and the maximum temperature is 36, and currently it's 28. It is a very hot and humid day here in Sydney, but it feels really good to be back home. And my left leg, which is where I got the tattoo, is killing me because I think it is finally starting to heal. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply the Bipanthin cream, which is supposed to be better for tattoos. That's what's generally recommended, and it has a tattoo version of it as well. A couple of years ago, it didn't used to have a tattoo version of it, so I'm going to apply that on my leg so that it heals a bit better the tattoo artist told me to wait seven days it's been more than seven days now and i've also started to wash my tattoo with lukewarm water hopefully my skin starts to feel a bit better apparently it feels like you know it's like all contracting so this is that cream that i'm going to be putting on my tattoo and hopefully this is going to make the tattoo heal a bit quicker it's really hot here so we're opening the fan as well my editing is completed and now it's lunchtime because it's currently 2 18 in the afternoon so we're having rice with some chicken onion and this is something that i got from from Nepal this is like some sweets some snacks that you can have after food or before food this is what we call titora it's a lapsi candy lapsi is I don't know I'll put the translation there and we also have something called kattu it's like a dried plum and also I put the bipanthin cream on my tattoo so now it's looking much more darker and much more refined it's currently 5 43 in the evening and we've been constantly sleeping and waking up sleeping and then waking up because we're very tired I don't know at least I have a day off tomorrow she has to go I think she might also have to do a sick leave or something because yeah the whole body is like heavily tired so currently it's 6 46 in the afternoon and my watch is dead so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have my evening tea with some snacks and then i'm gonna have to charge my watch as well i still haven't taken out all the cables from my tech bag so i need to do that and then i need to charge it time for me to do my nightly ritual and finally doing at my home after seven days it feels good so gonna do this and then only gonna have dinner <laughs> This is gonna be our dinner. We're having migoreng noodles with some eggs and I also have lemon lime bitters. And after having this, I'm gonna edit the video and maybe rest and sleep as soon as I can. Today we landed in Sydney, Australia and our Nepal trip is finally complete. We were in Nepal for 67 days only. It was a very short stay. We were there for a wedding and it was a very good wedding, very good to be a part of it. But the main thing that annoyed me the entire Nepal trip was the airlines. The airlines we took was Batik Airlines and there is a reason we booked the Batik Airlines. Back in 5th of July, 2020, we were thinking about doing a surprise visit so we booked a ticket from Batik Airlines very last minute and the reason we booked from Batik Airlines was because we were planning to fly on the 6th of July 2023 and we booked the ticket on 5th of July 2023 I think it was only 10 to 12 hours apart like when we booked the flight and when our flight was about to leave so every other airlines was very expensive and Batik Airlines was the cheapest about 2,000 Australian dollars per person any other airlines was well over 4,000 5,000 per person which which was for economy and it was very expensive so we thought that you know like let's save some money and let's go with Batik Airlines although this is the airlines that we've never flown before we thought that you know what can go wrong and we did know that this flight does not have in-flight entertainment system meaning that there is no screens but when we double checked prior to booking from the staff they said that yes it does have USB ports so you can charge your devices etc so we were quite happy about that and we thought we'll download all the movies and everything for the flight on our devices and if we're ever running out of charge we can always charge it because the person has said you have USB cable, USB ports on the flight that you can use. But sadly, when we boarded the flight, we found out that there's no USB ports. You cannot plug or charge your devices in. So once you run out of your charge, you have no way to charge it unless you have a power bank of yourself. So that was the most annoying thing. You won't get any free meals. You have to purchase it. And the paying part is also annoying part because you cannot use your American Express card. You cannot use your debit card. You would have to use your credit card from any MasterCard account that you have. And that's the only way you can pay. Yes, you can pay from cash. You can cannot use your personal debit card. You cannot use your American Express credit card if you have it. The only option you have for paying for your meal is a MasterCard credit card. That's basically it. Once you place the order, if you open the food, if you don't have a way of paying it, I don't know how that's gonna go. Takeoff and landing in that Batik Airlines, very bumpy. Every takeoff, every landing, very bumpy. Never experienced anything like this. I was very much annoyed. Going from Sydney to Kathmandu was not that bad because the flight was very short. There was not many layover, but the most annoying part, it never takes off on time. It is always 
always delayed. We were supposed to take off from Sydney at 7 a.m. in the morning, but there was two hours delay and there was no prior notice whatsoever. When we were checking our baggage and security, that's when we got the email saying that the flight is going to be delayed by two hours. And now we were very worried when we saw that email because, because we had a wedding to attend to. We have only 67 days in Nepal. And if the delay causes us to miss the connecting flights, that means we could basically be losing a day or two in the process. That means from the already limited time in Nepal, it could be much more limited. The 67 days could be four to five days. So we were already worried. And I had also planned a surprise back home because I wanted to surprise my family because I hadn't been to Nepal in more than 10 years. So I wanted to surprise them. Nobody back home had any idea that I was coming apart from my brother. So the delay email that we got as we were checking our baggage in the security really made us panic and we were very worried. Luckily, because we had four hours worth of layover in Malaysia when we were taking off from Sydney, the two hours delay didn't impact us that much. Yes, we obviously had to rush to the other terminal in Malaysia because now from the four hours layover, we only had two hours remaining because the plane took off two hours late. And once we made to Malaysia, we finally caught up to the flight that we were supposed to take to Nepal and we landed in Nepal in time, but the takeoff was two hours delayed. And coming back from Kathmandu to Sydney, same thing. The flight was supposed to take off at 9 p.m. Kathmandu time, but no, it didn't take off at 9 p.m. It took off at 11 p.m. And the same thing happened in Malaysia when the flight went from Kathmandu to Malaysia. It was supposed to take off, but no, it didn't take off on time. It took off one to two hours late. Every time this flight is always late, whenever it's supposed to take off at some time, it's one to two hours, if not more, always delayed. A lot of the people who have used this airlines in the past, they've always expressed this regret. And some have even missed their connecting flights because of this delay that they do during takeoff. So it is kind of frustrating. I am very happy that now I no longer have to deal with Batik Airlines because this ticket that I was supposed to initially take on the 6th of July, which I had moved to January and I've used it now and I do not have to take it again at any time in the future. Even if I have to book a ticket very last minute, I am never going with Batik Airlines because I do not want to face this. I'm more than happy to take an airlines even if it's going to be much more expensive, but having a more comfortable flight experience is worth a lot more than what I experienced in this Batik Airlines. And this Batik Airlines, normally if you have booked a holiday months apart and you're taking Batik Airlines, generally it costs somewhere around 800 to 900 Australian dollars per person. But because in my case, like my flight was only 10 hours apart, it cost me 2000 Australian dollars per person. And I thought that it's going to be similar to any other airline experience, but no, definitely it's not. I'm never taking this airlines again. We were at a point that we were considering on our flight from Kathmandu to Nepal before we even take it. We're going to cancel this Batik Airlines even if we don't get any money back and we will rebook some other ticket so that we have a much better experience because even going experience when the flight was not too long, the layover was not too long, it was annoyingly painful. But coming back from Kathmandu to Sydney, we had like more than 10 hours worth of layover and to have to deal with this airlines was bad. It's not about the air hostess because they were good. It's just that the general experience of how you feel when you sit in the plane, how you feel when the plane takes off and lands, the entertainment system, what you get offered in the plane, in the flight, it's not as good as any other airlines. So I'm extremely disappointed at this airlines and I will never, ever, 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 ever take this Batik Airlines in my future flights ever. Even if that is the only flight available, I will reschedule my days or I'll do anything that I can, but I will never take this. I will try maybe other airlines, but never this. I'm glad I tried this because I know now to never take this airlines. With that being said, I think I'll end the video right here because I need to edit this and then put it for publishing and I need to sleep as well. Tomorrow is my day off and tomorrow is just going to be resting day. We're not going anywhere. What I might do is like, you know, maybe update the software on my car because that's pending and because we were in Nepal seven days, it hasn't been driven. So I'll see what I can do about that. But yeah, thank you for watching this video this far. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye.